Hi guys, so what I want to talk to you today about is remote play for the PlayStation 4. Now, I was considering getting a PS Vita just for the remote play aspect. Um, I really enjoy playing on, on PS4, but I wanted to be able to do it when I'm not at home or when I'm visiting relatives or whatever else. So I thought, well, I'll go for a PS Vita then. I don't particularly want any of the other games for the PS Vita because there's nothing that really appeals to me. It's pretty shit, to be honest, apart from the fact of the, re the remote play. I'm not a big uh, mobile gamer, really, um, but I do love my um, home consoles, my PS4 and my Xbox um, One. So PS Vita was the option, or maybe a Sony um, mobile phone. What I did, what I then found out was with searching around on Google, um, I just typed in remote play um, Android and it came up with um, a website by an Android Authority, which when I saw it, I was quite shocked and it said uh, remote play working on Android 4.2 devices, no route required. I don't think you can see it there. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S4. You probably won't be able to see it anyway. Um, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S4. I haven't got a Sony Xperia or anything. Um, so I thought, hmm, wonder whether this will work. It gives you links in the whole um, document here. It does give you a link to a download where you download an APK app um, for the remote play. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll give that, I'll give that a whirl. So downloaded it, um, and then, I don't know if you can see it here, but I've now got on my screen, just, oh, sorry, the remote play app. So what we'll do, if we get the, that down there, move that out of the way, we'll click on it, gives you the option when you first log in, um, it, try, it logs into your PlayStation Network, asks for your password. I've already done that. So if we click Next, it tries to turn on your PS4. I haven't got a PS4 turned on at the moment. Um, it looks around on the network, on the internet, um, to find the PS4. This can take a little while. The, opposite, the thing I have found out on this at the moment, though, is that um, I can't use my DualShock. My DualShock 4 controller, there we go. There we go, look, we're connected to my PS4. Um, so at the moment, the um, everything's on there. But as you can see, as I go along, press pressing left and right, it will go through and highlight everything that I want on there. So if we go to Injustice Gods Among Us, click on Next. Starts to load the game. And you know, it, obviously, the graphics is just a screen port. It's not the, um, it's not using the graphical capabilities of the phone. I don't think so. It's just using it as a second screen. So, get rid of the opening titles, and there you go. I'm playing my PlayStation Four. Start. Go into Injustice. Single player, play story, continue, and it starts loading. So as I say, at the moment, um, it's not letting me use, I have to use to what's ass. on the screen, which isn't perfect. This, you've got the analog controls there, as you can see, press the buttons, he does punch and fight. I think a fighting game is the ideal thing to show. But if you press that button down there, do it again, that gives you your PlayStation button. Takes you back home. Hold it down, gives you your options. You can go into rest mode.
and then you enter rest mode and it turns off your PlayStation 4 and tells you the connection is lost. Now that's fantastic. That was exactly what I was looking for. Um, it's just what I wanted. It means I haven't got to go out and spend money on a PlayStation Vita. I haven't got to go and spend money on um, on a handset phone that I don't want. I love my Samsung. It's what I wanted to um, keep hold of. All I now need to find is a way to use this. So if I can get find a way to use this rather than using what's on the screen, then obviously you have the whole option of how of, of getting some kind of holder maybe um, that holds it up there and gives you a screen on your controller that you can then take, put it in your bag, take wherever you want to go um, and have your PS4 on the go using this. There is a workaround that they say on there. That there is a, there's an app that they say that they that you can download. So far that hasn't worked. I'm going to keep on looking around and trying to find a way to get that work. If not, there's a couple of workarounds which I will put into the description um, of the video along with um, a description of where you can download the app for your Android phone. I believe it's only on Android at the moment. I can't see that it's been hacked for um, for the iPhone because people just don't hack shit for the iPhone and I don't I couldn't give a shit if they do anyway because I'm Android through and through but um, that is a fantastic app amazing I didn't think I would see that on my phone I thought I would have to go purely Sony centric um, but that is great I'm loving it um, if you like this if you like this video um, and you want to help me along subscribe like the video um, I'll try and put as much comment in on underneath for the description so you can find this for yourself. Once I find the workaround working, I'll put another video out for that. I'm going to try and start putting out more videos for the gameplays and reviews for the games I'm getting on my PlayStation 4 and on my Xbox One. Xbox One. Xbox, Xbox One. Um, and we'll go from there. So this is a new channel. I'm starting it out. I've had a couple. I've got a couple of other little videos on there, but they aren't anything special. Um, but yeah, going forward, we're going to see how we can go. So if you like it, guys, please help. That's great. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.